Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. Today, we will understand the topics below are How to convert the gas flow rate from a normal meter cube per hour to a meter cube per hour. The upcoming slides will discuss this topic. Next, we will understand and learn how to convert the gas flow rate from a normal meter cube per hour to a meter cube per hour. Next, we will understand the normal meter cube per hour. Nm cube per hour stands for normal cubic meter per hour and as a unit of measurement it is used to express the volumetric flow rate of gases under standard conditions of temperature and pressure stp is the standard temperature pressure the standard conditions are defined as normal cubic meter per hour the standard condition defined temperature is 0 degrees celsius or 273.15 kelvin normal cubic meter per hour the standard condition defined pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure or 101.325 kilopascals or 1.033 kilograms per centimeter square nm cube per hour is a unit that measures gas flow rate at normal temperature and pressure conditions the normal conditions refer to a temperature of 0 degrees celsius and a pressure of 1 atmosphere which is equal to 101.325 kilopascals next we will understand and learn how to convert a normal meter cube per hour to a meter cube per hour nm cube per hour stands for the normal cubic meter per hour The standard conditions are defined as normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined temperature is 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. Normal cubic meter per hour. The standard condition defined pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure or 101.325 kilopascals or 1.033 kilograms per centimeter square. everyone is aware of the ideal gas law or equation is formulated as pv is equals to nrt the ideal gas law or equation is formulated as p1 into v1 is divided by t1 is equals to and p2 into v2 is divided by t2 the standard conditions are next p1 is the normal pressure is one atmospheric pressure or kilopascals or kilogram per centimeter square next t1 is the normal temperature in kelvin next v1 is the normal volume in the nm cube per hour the operating conditions are next p2 is the operating gas pressure in kilopascals or kilogram per centimeter square t2 is the operating gas temperature in kelvin v2 is the volume of the compressed gas in a meter cube per hour Next, we will learn and understand how to convert Nm cube per hour to meter cube per hour. The following the ideal gas law formula is used for this conversion. P1 into V1 is divided by T1 is equals to and P2 into V2 is divided by T2. The standard conditions are next, P1 is the normal pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. or 1.033 kg per centimeter square next t1 is the normal temperature of 0 degrees celsius or 273.15 kelvin next assume v1 is the normal volume 5 lakhs nm cube per hour the operating conditions are next p2 is the operating gas pressure 3 kg per centimeter square T2 is the operating gas temperature is 250 degrees celsius or 273.15 plus 250 and the obtained gas temperature value is 523.15 kelvin V2 is the volume of the compressed gas in a meter cube per hour we need to calculate the V2 the ideal gas law formula calculates the V2 in nm cube per hour P1 into V1 is divided by T1 
is equals to and P2 into V2 is divided by T2. Therefore, V2 is equals to P1 into V1 into T2 and the obtained value is divided by T1 into P2. Next, apply the standard and operating conditions data R to get the V2 is 1.013 kg per centimeter square into 5 lakhs nm cube per hour into 523.15 Kelvin and the obtained value is divided by 273.15 Kelvin into 3 kg per centimeter square. Next, V2 is equals to 2, 6, 4, 9, 7, 5, 4, 7, 5 is divided by 819.45. Therefore, V2 is equals to 3. Lacks 23,357.709 meter cube per hour. Next, we will understand and learn the comparison of standard or ideal conditions and operating conditions. Next, based on the given data and calculations, the gas volumetric flow in standard conditions is 5 lakhs nm cube per hour. Next, Based on the given data and calculations, the gas volumetric flow in operating conditions is 3,23,357.709 m3 per hour. When operating conditions change, including the pressure and temperature, as well as changes in the obtained volumetric flow. Thank you for watching. We hope everyone understands how to convert the Nm3 per hour to a meter cube per hour. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.